Right, let's talk about jets. Not just any jet, but a proper clever bit of kit from Sweden called the Gripen E. Now fighter jets are already mind-bogglingly complicated machines, packed with more power and technology than you can shake a very large stick at. They go very, very fast and make a brilliant noise. But what the Swedes have just done with their latest Gripen is something else entirely. It's like they've given it a brain. Imagine your car driving itself, but instead of just navigating to the shops, it's a fighter jet pulling off moves in the sky that would make your stomach try to escape through your ears. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's a massive leap forward. Just a couple of months ago, in May and June of this year, the clever people at Saab, who build the Gripen, did something truly groundbreaking. They let an artificial intelligence, a computer program they call Centaur, take complete control of the Gripen E. I don't mean it just held the plane steady or followed a preset line on a map. No, this AI flew the jet. It made decisions. It reacted. It engaged in simulated combat all by itself, while a very brave human pilot just sat there, hands off the controls, presumably trying very hard not to think about what was happening. This is a first, a proper world first for a modern frontline fighter jet. So. What makes the Gripen E so special for this sort of thing? Well, its designers were thinking ahead. Unlike a lot of other jets that would need to be pulled apart and rebuilt into some sort of weird experimental Frankenstein's monster, the Gripen E was designed from the ground up to be flexible. It has what they call an open architecture. Think of it like a smartphone. You can download and install new apps to give it new abilities. In this case, the app was a super intelligent AI pilot, and they could plug it right into the jet's main systems without needing a lorry load of extra wires and a team of boffins working for six months. This achievement is part of a bigger plan called Project Beyond, which sounds suitably dramatic, doesn't it? It's a team-up between Saab and an AI company called Helsing, with the full backing of the Swedish government. Their goal is to see just how far they can push AI in the cockpit to prepare for future threats that we can't even imagine yet. It's about more than just a clever trick. It's about fundamentally changing how these incredible machines are operated. What they've proven is that you can safely and effectively put a digital mind in the pilot seat of one of the world's most advanced combat aircraft. And that, frankly, is brilliant. Now, you might be wondering how this all went down. You don't just toss the keys to a multi-million dollar supersonic jet to a bit of software and hope for the best. The testing was incredibly careful and methodical, taking place over a series of flights. The main event was what pilots call Beyond Visual Range, or BVR, combat scenarios. This isn't the old school dogfighting you see in the movies, where pilots are close enough to wave at each other. This is modern air combat fought with long-range missiles, where the enemy is just a tiny blip on a radar screen miles and miles away. It's a high-stakes game of chess, played at twice the speed of sound. During these tests, the Centaur AI was given the big job. It had full authority over the jet. Using data pouring in from the Gripen's advanced sensors, like its super-sharp Raven ESA radar, the AI had to find the enemy, track it, and figure out the best way to deal with it. It was processing a staggering amount of information in real time, far faster than any human brain could manage. The AI decided when to turn, when to climb, and how to position the jet for the perfect shot. The human pilot was there to watch, to monitor, and to take back control if anything went wrong, but the AI was the one calling the shots. The AI didn't just fly the plane, it acted as a true combat partner. It would analyze the situation and then cue the human pilot, essentially saying, right, I've got a lock. Now would be a very good time to press the big red button. This is where the Centaur name makes perfect sense. A mythical creature that's half man, half beast, working as one. Here, it's a fusion of human and machine intelligence. The AI does the lightning-fast calculations and maneuvers, while the human makes the ultimate decision to engage. It's a partnership designed to get the best of both worlds, the raw processing power of a machine and the judgment of a person. 
What's really incredible is that these tests weren't done in some special stripped-down experimental plane. This was a standard, off-the-shelf Gripen E, the same kind the Swedish Air Force is flying right now. This is a huge deal. It means the technology isn't some far-off laboratory concept. It's something that can be integrated and tested on the real operational aircraft. This speeds up development massively and makes the whole process safer and more adaptable. It proves the Gripen E isn't just a fighter jet. It's a flying laboratory for the future of aviation, and the future has well and truly arrived. All right, so the AI proved it could handle long-range combat. But what about when things get up close and personal? What about a good old-fashioned dogfight? Well, the project team thought of that too. To really push the Centaur AI to its limits, they pitted it against a seasoned human pilot flying another Gripen, a slightly older Gripen D model. This was the ultimate test man versus machine in a swirling high-G battle for aerial supremacy. It's one thing to track a blip on a screen, but it's another thing entirely to outfly a thinking, breathing opponent who is trying to do the same to you. This is where instinct and experience usually win, the tests were set up to be as challenging as possible. They started the simulated fights from different distances, at various speeds, and from a whole range of altitudes. The idea was to throw as many different problems at the AI as they could to see if it would get confused or make a mistake. Could it adapt to a sudden change in tactics from the human pilot? Could it manage the jet's energy, knowing when to burn fuel for speed and when to hold back for a tight turn? These are the split-second decisions that win or lose a dogfight, and the Centaur AI had to make them all on its own, with no help from its human passenger. And the results? Well, they were astonishing. The initial reports suggest that the AI performed just as well as the highly trained human pilot. In some scenarios, it might have even been better. Think about that for a second. A piece of code flying a real jet was able to match a human being with years of training and experience in one of the most demanding environments imaginable. The AI doesn't get tired, it doesn't get scared, and it can process the angles and speeds of an engagement with a level of perfection that is simply beyond human capability. It was a stunning demonstration of what AI is now capable of. This success is a testament to both the AI software developed by Helsing and the incredible platform that is the Gripen E. The jet's advanced systems, like its infrared search and track, or IRSD sensor, gave the AI a crystal clear picture of the battlefield. It could see the enemy not just on radar, but also by their heat signature, giving it more data to work with. The Gripen E's powerful GEF 414G engine and its agile airframe gave the AI the muscle it needed to execute its lightning-fast decisions. The whole package, the smarts and the strength, worked together in perfect harmony, creating a truly formidable combination. So, a computer flew a jet. Big deal, right? Well, yes, it is a very big deal. This isn't just a cool party trick. It represents a fundamental shift in military aviation, for decades, the focus has been on making jets faster, stealthier, and more agile. But we're reaching the limits of what the human body can withstand and what a human mind can process in the heat of battle. The Gripen E's AI flight shows that the next great leap forward won't be in the airframe or the engine, but in the intelligence that flies it. It's about creating a true teammate in the cockpit one that can handle the overwhelming complexity of modern warfare. This technology could change everything. Imagine a pilot flying into a dangerous area. The AI could take over the complex task of flying the plane and dodging threats, leaving the pilot free to focus on the bigger picture, the mission objectives, coordinating with other forces on the ground and making critical strategic decisions. It reduces the pilot's workload enormously, which means they can perform better and for longer. It's like having the world's greatest co-pilot, one who never needs a coffee break and can calculate missile trajectories in a nanosecond. 
This is a massive advantage when things get hairy, and the potential goes even further. As this AI technology gets more advanced, we could see it used to control swarms of unmanned wingman drones that fly alongside a piloted jet. The pilot would act as a mission commander, directing a team of autonomous aircraft from the safety of their cockpit. This isn't just about winning dogfights, it's about revolutionizing air power strategy. And because the Gripen E allows for this kind of AI to be tested and refined on the actual aircraft, Sweden and its partners are able to develop these future capabilities faster and more effectively than anyone else. They are quite literally shaping the future on the fly. In the end, the successful AI-powered flight of the Grepin e is more than just a headline. It's a signpost pointing to the future. It demonstrates that the synergy between human and artificial intelligence is no longer a concept from a movie, it's a practical reality. The Centaur project has opened a door to a new era where aircraft are not just tools, but intelligent partners. By proving that a frontline fighter can be flown by an AI in complex combat scenarios, Saab and its partners have not just made the Gripen E more capable, they have changed the game for everyone. And that is incredibly exciting.